In this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth beginner's guide to get you started step-by-step -step to build up your strengths in your runs in the beginning of the game and also share with you where you need to look for when building during your runs so you be more effective for beating the game. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there are three main upgrade options in the beginning you can level up or say improve your strengths. Here you have the Mirror of Night to upgrade yourself with passive bonuses, the House Contractor where you can renovate the Underworld so you will be able to improve your runs with upgrades from the Realm. And it is not a real option but still it makes you increase your strengths with acquiring keepsakes to get passive bonuses while holding a keepsake during your runs, what are obtained by giving nectar to characters in the game. So first, let's talk about how to get resources needed to upgrade these options. For the Mirror of Night, you will need Darkness Crystals and Ketonic Keys to upgrade your talents and unlock new ones. You will find these resources during your run, but for farming Darkness Crystals, there is a useful way to gain a lot of them, but you have to dedicate your run to get the boons from Chaos that will increase the percentage you can obtain from picking up Darkness Crystals. And these boons will increase the percentage for quite a lot, so it is worth it. And holding the Chaos Keepsake, we're getting more rare boons from him. So this will further increase the percentage. So if you can, give Chaos some nectar to keep him happy. He will give you his Keepsake. Further, your choice of weapon at the start can also have a small boost to gain more darkness in your next run. So using that weapon can be helpful when farming these crystals. Also, a boon of Poseidon Ocean Bounty will give you a boost for your resources finds. And also can give you a boon Sunken Treasure where he will give you some resources. So if you have those buffs to get more crystals, now you only need to know how to find them, and here is how. You will get them as a room reward, can be bought from a well of Charon where you can buy buff artifacts, and also sells these crystals, just like by his regular store, he does have these for sale sometimes. From an infernal trove, these are chests in rooms, what can be activated after the encounter to gain resources and may sometimes have darkness crystals as a reward. You do have to unlock them first though by renovating the realm. The last way to get a ton of crystals is by defeating a boss where you already got the weapon reward from it. This means that you have already beaten them with the weapon that you're using on that difficulty. But there is also an extra way to gain darkness crystals. You can trade other resources for it by the wretched broker but i usually don't use this because you will be needing the other resources as well and it is not really a good trade to do if you do all that you are sure to get a lot of crystals to upgrade your talents but now you want to get more talents so you want those chronic keys as well but there is not a easy way to farm them just like the crystals you will get them from room rewards and if you go to a room with a skull level on it, you will be able to gain two keys from the reward. There are also three other ways to get them by completing the prophecies from the faded list, what can be bought from the house contractor, what I highly recommend you pick up and from completing these prophecies, you will also be able to gain other resources from these rewards. Some of the other rewards include picking up all the boons and if you do pick up boons during your run, you can see the faded choice by the boon what you haven't yet gotten. What is also a good way to try out every boon to be more familiar how they work so you can be more effective in the game. Now for the second way to gain the keys, you are able to get them by fishing in the underworld. Yes, you can do that and pass them on to the chef in the lounge to gain keys and other resources. But you will need to pick up the fishing rod first at the house contractor, what I highly recommend you do. For the last one is trading the other resources at the wretched broker if you so desperately want those keys. Also these keys are needed to unlock the weapons in the game, so it is all good how you know to get them. Now I mentioned the house contractor several times now to buy some stuff from him, but with what? Well, you can offer him gems to get the renovations done in the realm, what can benefit you overall in the runs. So these gems are found during your run and will be gained as a room reward. Keep in mind, when you do a skull room, you will increase the reward amount. Infernal troves, fishing, boons from Poseidon, completing prophecies and the wretched broker. For the final sort of upgrade, getting the keepsakes, you will need to find nectar during your run. So these can be found as a room reward, fishing by completing infernal troves. There is a chance it will give you one as an additional reward from the other resources. 
You can also get one from a boom of Dionysus, the premium vintage, where he will just give you one straight away after you pick up the boon. You can also get them from completing prophecies and the wretched broker. By giving all the characters in the game Nectar the first time, they will give you a keepsake with a passive bonus. So I recommend you first all give the characters their first Nectar to get the keepsakes from them. So you can see what they do and might benefit your runs. These keepsakes can also be upgraded with completing encounters in your run while holding the keepsake. So it makes the passive bonus better up to a max rank of 3. A little tip here if you want to know who you still need to give nectar to the codex given by achilles can be of help i am not sure when he is going to give it to you but eventually when you talk to him after an escape attempt he will give it to you Patroclus. later in the game you will eventually unlock more ways to upgrade yourself but for now in the beginning you are stuck with these and i will go deeper into ones you get later in an other guide so now let's talk about building up your strengths during runs as you may well know by now that Boons of the Gods give you powers linked to the Pacific God you got it from and boost your attacks. I won't really be talking about a fixed cheese build here, but general tips you need to keep in mind while you're attempting runs to make building more successful and the RNG won't really let you get a fixed build every time, so you will be needing to know how to make a good build. So when you are into your runs, I recommend you always try to get at least one boon for all your attack abilities. By this I mean the regular attack, special attack, dodge ability, cast ability and your call ability. Because if you don't have a boon on them, they won't really be much of help during your runs. Because they won't do decent damage if you don't got a boon on them. This brings us to the next thing to focus on. You want to try leveling up one attack boon as much as possible. What will be the attack that is most effective with your current boons? This could be any attack really depending on which boons you're going to get from the gods. So your dodge ability could be really strong in your runs because of the multiple boons you got to make it stronger. Same can go for your regular attack in another run that will be doing the most damage output because of the boons. So try leveling up the boons that makes the attack ability stronger and also pick up other boons from gods that further will make your main attack ability stronger. Here is an example what I usually do when creating a build. During the run I try to get at least one good boon for my attack or special so if I got a good boon for it I will level that one up the most and look for the Daedalus Hammer what can further enhance your attack or special with unique abilities so if the boon what I got from the god is boosting up my special attack the most I try to use the hammer to make my special attack even stronger and keep leveling up the special attack boon with the booms of power and pick up booms from the same god to gain even better passive bonuses to further increase the effectiveness of the special attack but you can also do the same with your regular attack and sometimes you will get a different kind of boons during the run so you might end up with that your dodge ability or cast ability will do the most damage but that is just RNG of the game also, when you're out on your escape attempts and want a more successful run, focus more on getting boons, hammers and palms than resources, although this won't be the case every time. And check for Wells of Karen that you can get an artifact that the next boom is going to be of more rarity. Look for Chaos Gates, what further can enhance your main attack ability with the Chaos Boons. And always check the rooms for urns to get money as well as an Infernal Trove, what may heal you up or get more coins to buy upgrades or boons from Karen shops. But these are the general tips I got for you to build up your strengths during your run in the beginning of the game. If you want more guides what go more deeper in the later upgrading of the game, I will cook up an advanced guide for it so you can check that out after this one and comment down below to share some more tips for Hades to help each other out. But that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If it did, don't forget to subscribe for more related gaming topics like this one. And I guess you can leave a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't. But I thank you for watching and I see you all next time.